Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to It's Poppin' where we talk about everything pop-up camper related. So welcome to part seven of the free pop-up camper renovation series. But uh, real quick, if you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. And if you guys enjoy any of these um, pop-up camper renovation videos or even any of the how-to videos we do on pop-up camping, please consider subscribing. All right, so like I said, welcome back to part seven. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of what we plan on doing in this video is we plan on giving you guys a sneak peek of the color scheme we're gonna go with for the interior of the pop-up camper. And by that, I mean we're gonna show you all the fabrics we plan on using for like the cushions, the curtains, the valances, um, the paint color we're gonna go with for the cabinets, which we think you guys will probably love, as well as our flooring choice. Um, so we're just going to kind of, kind of show you that color scheme and how everything's going to work together on the inside of the pop-up. Along with that, we're going to jump right into painting. And by that, I mean, of course, painting the cabinets as well as the walls and kind of those random accessories that are on the walls. For example, the like thermostat housing and the fire extinguisher housing, you know, just things like that that are on the walls that could definitely use a freshen up. It might not sound like a lot of work, but painting um, really takes some time and it um, really is all about the prep work so it's um, taking off all the cabinet hardware and drawer poles and things of that nature sanding doing all the tape work to make sure your edge edges look good and all your lines look crisp um, and then of course once you're done with that then you can actually prime a few coats and then paint a few coats and let all those dry in between so we're gonna be doing all that in this uh, in this video if you guys are planning on uh, painting your own pop-up uh, cabinets or walls or anything, this is definitely an easy thing to do. It just takes kind of some time and patience, but uh, we'll show you what we do, the tools we use, and then some tips along the way. So um, definitely stick around. So uh, as promised, we're going to show you our camper color scheme. And so for this camper, we've gone with a gray, tan, and blue color scheme. So for our curtains, we went with this charcoal gray curtain. This is a blackout curtain, so on the back side you can sort of see. I think technically it's called room darkening, but this will keep the camper a little bit darker. These are pre-made curtains that we're just going to uh, shorten. Uh, to make the right length for the camper. And then for our cushions, we're going with this sort of textured gray for our bottom cushions, backed with a gray vinyl. And so the backs of the bottom cushions are always backed with a vinyl, and so we'll just go with this sort of gray tan vinyl. And then for the upper cushions, we're going with a birch bark fabric. And so both of these are canvas outdoor fabrics. And this has a little bit of that gray blue running through it. And it ties in really nicely with our paint color. And so for our cabinets, we're going with this symmetry blue. And uh, it's sort of just like, just a touch of blue with some gray in it. That'll be our cabinetry color. And then for the valances, we're going to stick with this birch bark fabric. So that'll go all the way around the tops of the uh, camper to really tie together that uh, fabric on the back of the cushions with everything else. And so uh, we're gonna leave the countertops this sort of tan color, at least for now. Uh, that's our plan. We'll see once everything comes together if we're happy with this uh, countertop color. Uh, if not, we might decide to contact paper it or something like that. And then finally, for the flooring, uh, we're going with a click together vinyl flooring. And the click together vinyl flooring is uh, a flooring from Home Depot, and this is considered Devon oak. And so it's kind of a gray tan uh, wood look vinyl plank flooring. And so that's generally our color scheme that we're going with for our camper. All right, so today is cabinet painting day. Um, I'll show you what we're all going to use, but essentially we are going to do a light sand, so a light surface prep on the cabinets, and then we're going to throw on some um, primer. Now what we're using is a Kills Original Low Odor Interior Primer, and it is an oil-based primer. 
So we're probably gonna end up doing two light coats of that. Um, it says uh, recoat time in one hour, so we'll see if we can get two coats on tonight. Um, but uh, nevertheless, two coats total of that. And then once um, the primer's on, we are gonna throw on a high gloss um, interior acrylic paint. And uh, you'll see the color we went with for that uh, once we get that on. But probably another two coats of that or so. But um, we always approach this as, you know, we'll, we'll see how many coats a as we go along, so. So let me show you guys what we're gonna use. Um, just a, kind of a sanding pad. Like I said, we're gonna use a 150. Um, I don't know if that's uh, exactly what you need. Maybe a 120 would be fine or something in that area. But just a light, uh, light sandpaper. Um, like I said, we're gonna be using the Kills interior primer. So this is what we're gonna be using. We got a gallon of that. And then of course, uh, we went with a Glidden uh, premium interior exterior uh, acrylic paint. And for other supplies, we have uh, some of the paints. What do you call these? So we have um, a couple of paint trays that'll uh, make rolling um, a lot easier. And of course we have some uh, new rollers. And then for some of the edge work, we'll just be using a two inch um, slanted paintbrush. And of course a, a paint bucket for that. And then finally, um, just some uh, tape to tape off areas that uh, we don't wanna get paint on, of course. So that's everything we're gonna be using to redo the cabinets. And of course, um, make sure you're wearing uh, your best outfit for painting. Uh, you'll, you guys will definitely see what we're gonna be wearing, um, but uh, <laughs> don't judge too much. It's our uh, painting outfit. So one quick thing that I forgot to mention was uh, that you'll have to take off all of like your cabinet doors and then once those are off, um, take off all of your knobs and handles and pulls. Um, that way, uh, well, you don't get any paint on them. So we're gonna do that right quick and uh, then we'll get to the painting. So the prep work is almost done and just a few um, helpful tips for you guys while you're preparing to paint your cabinets. So what we did with all the hardware is we kind of labeled, labeled um, each I don't know, cabinet and um, drawer pull um, and uh, put all the components into one bag and then label them um, that way. That way, A, they're not rolling around and, and B, you kind of know where each of them goes even though um, I'm sure a lot of them are interchangeable. So that's what we did with a lot of the hardware. Some of the things like, like these guys, I'm just able to set the screws in there and they're not gonna go too far but um, kind of whatever you wanna do for organization just so you don't lose your hardware. Um, and then anything that um, we couldn't really remove easily, kind of like a converter box here, we made sure we uh, taped and uh, you know did the prep work. So you can kind of see some of the spots that we did a lot of this prep work along with um, on the countertop here. Now, one thing I, uh, I didn't mention that you'll probably need to do a lot of this is of course a screwdriver um, for whatever hardware that you, uh, that you have to take off. Okay, and if you have drawers uh, like ours or maybe a similar drawer system, um, in order to get those off, there's a tab actually under, underneath and this is the back side of the drawer. So when you're pulling it out, you push in on this tab to um, free it from the slide. So now that everything is sanded down, we're just wiping down uh, what we've sanded with a, just a very lightly wetted uh, microfiber towel to pick up any of that you know, I guess uh, um, tiny particles that we've sanded off. Um, but you could absolutely use tack cloth. We just didn't pick any up. So this was kind of our next best option. Um, and then once we uh, wipe it down with the um, slightly wetted cloth, we'll probably just go over it one more time with a uh, dry microfiber to ensure that uh, it's completely dry.
Alright guys, so while the wife was painting, or I should say priming the cabinets, what I did was um, prep, and by prep I mean uh, tape off a lot of the lines so that now we can prime the walls as well. We're going to paint both cabinets and the walls. I guess we'll leave it a surprise on what color we go for the wall paint, but um, as you guys know we're kind of going with that darker steely blue for the um, cabinets. Now as we were looking at how well the cabinet paint or the cabinet primer was covering um, we think we're only going to go with one coat and the reason for that is because we're you know naturally um, going to be covering that up with a darker paint. Um, historically we've painted our cabinets white so when we went from a dark cabinet down to that white we really needed that those two coats of primer to um, to bring it back down and get that good coverage for the white paint. But because we're going with a dark color, I think one coat will be fine. So as you can see, it, yeah, it actually covered really well. And I don't think a dark coat will have any problem covering that up. Now, one thing to note, um, the reason we weren't like too careful with taping off um, the floor area or worrying about any paint getting on that is because we're gonna cover it up with that um, new vinyl plank flooring. So. Not a big deal, at least for us. The priming of the walls and the cabinets is all finished. So just give you guys a quick look around. And like I said before, this is just one coat, which we think will be adequate for coverage. But um, maybe if you're doing a light color, i.e. white, it uh, wouldn't hurt to do uh, two coats just to be safe. But like I said, the priming is all done and uh, next up will be the actual paint color. are all finished we did end up doing two coats on that so now it's on to the walls probably two coats on that as well but we'll see um, how they look after one coat all right guys so I'm gonna spray paint kind of the random things that need to be spray painted while the wife is finishing up the wall paint for example, this is the odd conglomeration of, I don't know, tans and browns and such, even blacks and whites that they had in this camper. So we're gonna give all of these a nice uniform silver color. Um, of note, we're gonna use a high heat, or a high, you know, temp resistant spray paint for the um, heater cover. Obviously the rest of it could be a more normal uh, spray paint, but I'm gonna try out the high heat on all of it see how it works especially with the plastics I'm confident it'll do well on the metal pieces but uh, we'll see about the plastic and uh, go from there guys so the cabinet paint wall paint and all those accessory pieces are all painted up so let me show you guys around so here it is 
here is kind of that steely blue um, cabinet paint and as you can see we did a lot of those accessories kind of in that silver color to match a lot of the um, handles and poles um, that uh, we had on the cabinets and drawers so here's how it's all gonna look I threw a few pieces of flooring in here just to see how that looks with the uh, cabinets as well as the countertop and I think that looks amazing so I can't wait to get all that flooring in as I was looking at uh, some video footage of the wall paint going on I realized it was super hard to discern what it was so this is actually kind of a Oh, well, a very light gray with a kind of a, a tan hue to it. So that's what we went with on the walls. And I think that uh, will look really nice between the cushions that are going to be more of a gray and then the countertops, which are more of that tan color. So here we are uh, with all of the painting done. And um, I think it turned out pretty well. All right guys, so that's it for part seven of the free pop-up camper renovation series. What did you guys think of the cabinet paint? Um, I can tell you we're low-key kind of obsessing over the cabinet paint color, especially how it's looking with the um, existing cabinets and the flooring that we're gonna be putting in. So we're super excited about how that um, all turned out. Like I said, we were going to work on the um, cushions and the curtains and the valances in the last video, and we have been. However, I don't want to um, show you guys the cushions and the curtains and the valances until they're all done. The cushions are 100% complete. Um, the curtains are almost done. All we need to do is put on the little tabs that go on the sliders, and um, we have yet to do the valances. But once all of those are complete, uh, we'll be sure to show you guys those. We, I think, finally came to a decision on what to do with the countertops underneath that sink and stove area. That's kind of that wood grain look. Um, we looked at a lot of contact papers. We looked at a lot of um, Formica sheets and you know all the different colors and variations that those come in, but we just really didn't find anything that we loved and that um, you know did it for us so what we ultimately decided we're going to do is we're going to um, take a piece of the um, countertop that's on everything else and we're going to try and match a tan or the predominant tan color in those and that way we can um, get that in a countertop or cabinet paint put that down on top and then uh, put a handful of um, coats of polyurethane on that so that it ties in really nicely with the pre-existing um, countertops. And not only are we going to do it for that piece, but we're also going to put that on the table that has yet to be built. So it'll really tie that um, color back in nicely. And I think it'll, once again, go really well with the cabinets and, and the flooring and everything else. So that's all to come in part. I guess that'll be pretty much eight or nine. <laughs> something like that but those are just um, some of our thoughts going forward so hopefully we'll see you um, in the future videos if not uh, hopefully we we'll see you out there camping <laughs>